Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to try out the newest landing challenges added by the latest world updates. As usual I'm going to try them out for the first time and record it which is not the brightest idea. Though full disclosure uh, I have seen this Duene one before so the first one we're going to be doing uh, I have uh, some experience with I just haven't scored on it yet. Uh, the Brisbane one also I had done off camera and as you can see it did not end well so uh, that one I did not actually capture so uh, I don't like the Airbus A320 anyway that much so <laughs> sorry uh, anyway uh, I don't know me and that plane just don't get along very well but anyway I'm like the only one so Duane or uh, Duane? Dune? Duane? Dune? Uh, anyway uh, it's sort of different here Helgoland, Helgoland Airport. Anyway, seems like people get decent scores on this, but I'm probably not going to. I haven't flown the DA-40, or is it the 20 or 40? I think it's the 40. It's been a long time. I don't have a lot of experience with it, but it's a little plane that should be easy, right? Right? Now, it is where uh, having seen this one before comes in, because at this little path that they show you, it doesn't give a very good indication of where the heck the runway is, so I'm gonna... But at least we have the little map on the instrument panel, so that'll help. But otherwise, it's a little bit hard to line up to get a sense of it. You can see the runway 3 there. This is very not trimmed right now. I do have head tracking available, so I'm very much looking at the map here for help. Because otherwise you look at the island and it's very indistinct what's going on on it. Uh, it's a runway 30 and I think I can see it nicely now. So straighten up my back and Take a look. That's one advantage of uh, head tracking is that you can sort of look above the instrument panel nicely. Okay, well, that was something or another. I haven't actually landed at this airport before. I just have seen it before. Okay, that was a B, 992,000. Really close to an A. But yeah, so I haven't landed at it before. That was the first landing at it. But uh, yeah, just an inch away from an A. Okay, next up, Hartsfield, Jackson, Atlanta. We have the 747, something completely different. And... It is 27 right over here. And my main worry is the landing gear height. <laughs> so, uh, so it's 1,000 feet above sea level. That's our approach. Just a mild turn to the left. Okay. And... Hopefully we have instruments. <laughs> I've had it where I don't have instruments. There, that happens. Okay, must not be confused by the other runways. Especially the ones that we apparently should be landing at with the blinking lights, right? Anyway. Yeah, the landing gear height. So, the DA-40 that we just had was very low to the ground. This is super, super high. And I'm probably gotta be messed up by that. I need to remember this is really, really high up. But we're still very high according to the Pappy lights. I don't even see the blue marker. That's worrisome. Is it the right runway? Fifty, forty, thirty, 
Please tell me you're the right runway. Oh, go down though. Okay. Not the designated runway. Really? It, it seemed like it was 27. Uh, maybe I didn't quite get it right. I didn't see the number. Gosh darn it. Uh, well, I'll restart. 27 right. Um, maybe I landed on this one instead. Uh, the one to the left of 27 right. Well, I got some practice with the 747, so there's that. Okay, so I think I landed on 27 left, and then there was another... Is, is there another runway to the left? I, th th there looked to be one, but... Oh, this is a view I didn't expect. Okay. Okay, where the heck is the thing? Okay, so it's, it's closer to the terminal and everything. Yeah, there is a runway off to the side there that I probably got confused by. Four runways in the same direction. Uh, sorry, five. Five runways in the same direction. And the one we're supposed to land at is the one with the least prominent lights. <laughs> uh, figures. Okay, where's the blue box? Oh, there's the blue box. I think. Okay. Oh, a little bit far. Oh, did I bounce? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Oh, it's still a B-912. I thought it'd be worse, but okay. Alright, well, yeah. Um, not very precise on the landing. And definitely not very smooth, but uh, I'm still adjusting to the great height of the 747 there. I should do some more 747 flying. I haven't done 747 flying in free flight since the very beginning where I flew it under the Golden Gate Bridge. So, uh, it's been a while. Okay, Klagenfurt. I don't know how heavy I should pronounce the K. Is the TBM 930, runway 10 left, 1,452 feet above sea level. It says 85 knots there. And we're at night, basically. We're not slowing down very much. Now we're slowing down. We were very low. It sort of started us out like that. Oh gosh, we're low. Oh, we're too far. Okay, well, it's close to the center line. B, I'm Mr. B today. 891,000. B close, on the close side to A, but... Alright, alright, fine. Shell Harbor, Wollongong, Australia. I feel like I've heard that one before. Basically sea level. Runway 16. Plane's the same. So that's good, I guess. I'm gonna assume I'm heading in this direction and turning left, but yeah, I've sort of messed it up already. I see a black line on the map that looks like a runway, but then the little icon doesn't in indicate one there, so... 
Oh, there it is. And we are once again insanely low. Uh, I have to remember that I can actually see the runway on that monitor. <laughs> I, I'm totally not looking at that, by the way. Fire my problem. Yeah, this one was not going to be good. I'm off to the side by quite a lot, and we landed hard. Yeah, I, I'm totally not looking at the monitor to see the runway. I was looking at the outside. 656,000, yeah. Need to remember that we can sort of see the runway like that too without just looking. I bet it's better to look out the window. Okay, so improvements ought to be made on those, but we'll move on to the epic challenges, which are more difficult. Telluride. Also in the TBM 930, so at least I'll have some familiarity going in. Runway 9. Well, uh... <laughs> hmm... There's the runway. Okay, well at least I see the runway. But we are starting really fast again. And we are very close considering how fast we're going still. I don't know if I can extend the flaps at this speed, but I'm extending the flaps at this speed. Very scenic. Really, really straightening up here to see the runway. Okay. We're low. Okay, monitor. I don't see the blue marker. Oh, is this the right runway? Oh, the blue marker is all the way there. Oh, I landed way short. Oh, I, I didn't know it wanted me to land all the way there. Oh, okay, see, we'll we'll try that one more time. I, I landed short of the marker. I thought it would be sooner. And landing smoothness was not good. It's sloping down, so and I think I have to take that into account as well. All right, we'll try that one more time. In the end, we ended up being a little bit shallow. Okay, we are on track. Oh, maybe it's shallow. Oh, uh, still early. Shoot. Still a C. Um, I'll take that for now. I'm not gonna do more than two tries each. Improvement, but not quite there yet. Okay, Regio Calabria with the A320neo. Let's see. Uh, I've had bad times with this one. Sea level, runway 33. Just a gentle bank to the left. Fly by wires, I'll tell you. Okay, where where exactly is the runway? I will I think I will check the VFR map to see how close I am. That's something that the little view that they give you doesn't really capture very well. Oh okay, lick liquor there. <laughs> Alright, that's an interesting approach. Can't really see it very well. Uh, okay, I think I get a sense of it over there. Interesting late turn. It'll assume that that's what I'm looking at there. Okay, gentle turn to the left. Uh, 
Maybe too early. It doesn't feel like this gives us a lot of time to line up, does it? It's fine. I was never good at lining up anyway. Oh uh, boy. Oh, I'm way high. Okay. Space shuttle it. I bounced. I bounced. I bounced. Uh, bouncing. I'm just like a tail dragger now. Ah. Uh. Well, they did say epic, so it, it makes sense that you don't line up way ahead of time. I'll try one more time now that I know what's coming. Didn't even know where to look for the runway before. I mean, I'm gonna actually turn to the right initially a little bit more to give me some more time to line up with the runway than they seem to have given me. So I'm actually gonna go this way. Alright, oh, trim doesn't matter because it's a fly-by-wire system anyway. It's gonna untrim me, right? Let me just check that. See, yeah, it just auto trims based on my pitch, so. Forget the trim. We don't need to trim. Trim won't work anyway. This does lead us over higher terrain this way. I suppose my main problem wasn't lining up so much as it was height, so maybe this approach is not the brightest idea. Yeah, hanging a right initially turns out to be a faulty idea with the terrain the way it is. Well, I guess that's why this is all epic and everything. Why can't this one have the fancy monitor with the runway visible on it? <laughs> Why is it the tiny planes that get that? Oh shoot. Ah. Uh, I way, way overcompensated. Oh shoot. Abort, abort, abort. What the heck is even going on with the left right thing? It'll probably ding me. I'll try and go around, but I don't think it'll let me. It might actually let me go around. Don't tell Microsoft. <laughs> okay. Currently parallel to the runway. Can't see a darn thing though, but in theory. I just need to come to grips with how this thing actually trims. I keep trying to trim when I can't. I mean, effectively, it'll cancel that out anyway. Well, we are now level. Pretty high up, but level. Here we go again.
500. 500. In a way, this might be better. Okay, okay. off of the blue marker. I didn't hop, but I'm way off of the blue marker. Well, it's a B. Alright, well, that's a relief. I don't have to fly that thing again. <laughs> I know people like the A320. I just, me, me and it don't get along very well. Okay, uh, CES 3 will be our last one. This is Genoa, Italy. I've flown into it before, I know this, but certainly not with uh, Cessna Citation, so it was a very different plane. Well, there's one big standout score there. This, this fellow seems to max things out a lot, huh? Uh, runway 28, yes, I'm familiar with this, and basically sea level. And yes, this is the approach I'm familiar with as well. Okay, here we go. So it's interesting what state it is in. Right at the start. Okay. Landing gear is down, apparently. Wow, oh, whoa. We are really close. Okay. Well, I guess it's good that we're slow. I feel like I'm really close to the panel, too. I can't see the numbers at all. <laughs> the lighting is set up bad right from the start. Okay, still shy. I heard 500, but it's very even the audio of the co-pilot reading out the altitude is very dim. Oh, I turned too late. They could have given us more time on this one. Some of them, they give you plenty of time. This one is like, oh, geez, we're low, we're slow, and we are close. I feel like they don't like the Cessna Citation. All the ones with the Cessna Citation, it's an easy play to fly. It shouldn't be too hard, but the setup is always horrible. I can't see another thing right now because we're so low. By the way, I don't have uh, foot pedal rudders or anything. It's a twist rudder, so that's why I tend to roll more than I use the rudder. Because oh, we're gonna land short. Uh... Well, we are off to the side quite a lot. It'll be interesting. It's interesting to see what score it gives me, but well, at least now I know what the setup is. I'll try one more time. Yeah, see. Okay, one more time. Now I know what the situation is. I'll try and keep altitude right away. I'm gonna go a little bit to the left. There's no mountains on this side here anyway. But I still feel like looking at anything is tough. Well, 
We were on track according to the Pappy lights. And low again already. The eye point in this plane is just really bad. Oh, we're gonna be off to the side again. Oh, oh. Okay. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. No, uh, I feel like I need to be taller. Maybe if I lean back a bit more. Alright, I'll try that one more time. I mean, this is no excuse. This is like Genoa for heaven's sakes. Um, maybe I'll reset my track IR. Maybe I'm, it's just too close and too low. Okay. That'll be better, especially since I can't read the numbers on the instrument panel anyway. Well, I've got a green circle. That means something good, right? But it doesn't quite agree with the Pappy lights, so it's a little bit complicated. Okay, that should have been better. Still a little bit hard, I feel. A! Well, that was the only A for the sponge. Okay, we finally got on try number three. Okay. Alright, so that's a good note to wrap it up on. So that has been the landing challenges. I'll have to do the strong wind ones in a separate video, but I said 68%. Is that just because there's fewer of them, or did I miss one? It seems like there's just fewer of them. All right. Yep, I'll have to redo some of those Cs at least. But for now, I'll leave it here and say, no, it went to this one. Okay. Yes. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.